Ainer. Lakeview. Talk about a battle. Christian Daniels showing off his skills. Just absolutely rumbling right through the teeth of the Blue Jacket defense. Hey, give him the rock. He got you down there. You might as well deliver and let him score. Daniels does just that. Cuts it back and finds six the hard way. That is some nice running, young man. Hard fought touchdown there. Here come the Blue Jackets. Jalen Dixon, he gets the carry, but the ball is on the ground after the fumble. Oh, that was a hit. Check out Fields. He is going to scoop and score. He had taken it, and he is not going to be denied. An offensive touchdown by the Gators, a defensive touchdown by the Wild Gators. That's how you win football games. Here comes the Blue Jackets. However, they're not going to be denied. Jackson Woodley throwing to Cameron Johnson. Cameron gets the first down. Jackson, well, he's going to Johnson again, this time for six. Right over the middle, he pulls his way in, and that is six. Two-point conversion is good. Daniels and the Wild Gators with a nice run. This one for a first down. Christian, you are workhorse, my young man. Weston Rogers, Rico Brown. Brown coming down for the touchdown. He's having a fantastic season. They go for the two-point conversion, and uh, Roger says, hey, coach, don't worry about it. I'll handle this. He takes it in, and the Wild Gators get a huge victory at home. They knock off Ainer 30-22, dropping the Blue Jackets to 3-2. The Gators improve to 3-2. Big night for Nichols, 10 carries, a buck 14, and a touchdown Next week, as we mentioned, it's a big one in Ainer. Dillon, the number one team in the state, coming down here to the beach. That should be a doozy. As for Lakeview, they go on the road just right down the street to Green Sea Floyds. We'll see how those two matchups look this time next week.